Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Coffee and Current Events, and today we have another mapping update for you guys. And of course, as usual, this is coming from the front in eastern Ukraine, specifically the Bakhmut front. There are major updates in the Bakhmut area. First of all, breaking news. Wagner controls anywhere from 75 to 80% of Bakhmut. So Bakhmut is mostly in the hands of Wagner and the Russian forces. However, there is evidence that, that Wagnerian forces are receiving assistance from Russian airborne units as the town is very difficult to capture and most likely the Wagnerians require actual Russian army groups and airborne troops to assist them in the capture of this town. Now Russia is continuing to make gains in Bakhmut. Russia is not taking massive amounts of territory but they are making slow gains in Bakhmut today. There are reports saying that Wagner has captured the railway station in Bakhmut. I do not know if this is true, but there are reports suggesting that Wagner has captured the railroad station in Bakhmut. If that is true, this will be devastating for the Ukrainians because this is where a lot of the fighting is taking place. And if Wagner actually is able to capture the railway station, they are slowly but surely pushing their way deeper into Bakhmut and it will only be a matter of time before Bakhmut falls, if that be the case. Also, it is likely that in the coming days we can expect Wagner to press their assault towards the road near Avenivske, right here, because they are pushing through the center of the town, but, but they most likely also want to attempt to surround the Ukrainian forces. Because Ukraine is offering such a stiff resistance, it is highly likely that Wagner is rotating their forces for different assaults. So they may send some units to the center of Bakhmut to push deeper in, and then once the Ukrainians strengthen that position enough, they could be sending them to the rear to attack. And that's why I believe sometimes it seems as if the assaults on Bakhmut stop in one area, like let's say they stop to the north. The assault on Bakhmut will stop in the north, and then it will start up in the center of the city. And then all of a sudden it stops in the center, then it starts raging in the south. I think it's because the Russians are rotating their forces from the south flank to the center of the Bak of Bakhmut and to the northern flank, and they're pressing from all areas in an attempt to break the Ukrainians. They're practicing classic Soviet deep battle warfare, which is basically where you, you hold in reserves and then you attack all across the front line, and whatever area of the front line breaks, you rush your reserves into. And that's why I believe you'll see sometimes the front line stagnate for days, and then all of a sudden Wagner makes these huge gains. I think this is because of the deep battle dodge auction or pricing. So that's the update from Bakhmut. 75 to 80% of it is in the control of Russian forces. And there is a report that Wagner has captured the railway station. We'll see if that report is confirmed or not. That's all I have for you today. God bless you. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more updates.